There's a fish. Fish. <laughs> Fish on the shaky head by the boat dock. Not gonna say why we're in this cove, but it's been a pretty tough day on Smith. I don't know what the deal is. I can't, cannot find the big ones today. A ton of fish like that, but none of the good ones. So we're gonna let it go. Good one too. Look at that. Right under that dock, man. Probably the best fish of the day. Come on, dude. I'm gonna get you in. I can't tell. It's gotta be a spot. Maybe they're starting to get under the dock where I wanna catch them. Come on. We aren't gonna lose this one, guys. All right, yeah, that's a good spot. That's what we're after right there. You can see more down there on the graph too with it. Oh yeah. Come here, dude. Got him right there. That's a nice chunk spot right there. Six inch bottom hopper worm. Dip the tail in chartreuse. Nice fat Smith Lake spots. <laughs> Just had to slow down. We've been fishing fast all day. It's cloudy, windy, warm. You would think that they'd just be chewing, you know, the jerk bait and all that stuff. And we lost one nice one on the jerk bait, but that's the best fish we've got today. We've been struggling to get some bites on the reaction stuff and you know immediately when when that's happening for me uh, and I realize you know after a few hours of doing it that I can't get on something not to say they're not biting it right now somewhere but I just can't figure it out very well uh, I pick up you know a shaky head I, I instantly grab a spinning rod um, you know and go to these docks especially here at Smith Lake there's a lot of good you know, nice size spotted bass that live around them. We caught one right away. One thing to notice too is when you look at a dock like that, you know, I saw a bunch of fishing poles around that dock and they're crappie poles. So one thing is they definitely have brush under there. That's where that nice one came from. And, uh, you know, just to pay attention to the little surroundings like that, sometimes you get those bonus fish because of it. A shaky head is one of the best baits to use around docks. I mean, it's pretty well known. Uh, but the way that I like to approach them is, you know, our, the sun's over there right now. And really, I, I try not to fool with the sunny side of the dock ever. I'm gonna go straight to the shade. So at this, you know, particular dock, it's gonna be the left side. Uh, but another thing that I always do is make a cast out in front, especially down here in the south, because uh, these people love to crappie fish down here. And, uh, you know, a lot of times they plant that brush right in front of the dock. So even though uh, it's not the shady side and it's in the sun, a lot of times they'll hold in that brush that's on the front side. So always on the front side of a dock and always on the shady side, a quarter ounce shaky head with a six inch green pumpkin bottom hopper. Keep it very simple, very basic, and just you know fish them pretty quick and get to the docks that have the fish. As we're coming up to this dock here, you can see you know that the shade is on the right side. So I'm definitely gonna make my cast over there first. And then after that, you know, I'm going to fill for brush and fill for any kind of structure down there. But after that, like I said, I always cast to the front. So the next cast is going to be right there in the middle of the dock, out in front of it. And, uh, you know, a lot of times that's where the brush is on these docks. And you definitely don't want to overlook that and just always cast to the shade. Make sure you always cast to the front of them as well. It's worth at least one cast every time. There's one. Got one. There he is. Oh, dude. That could be a real good spot right there.
That's a good fish, man. I knew this pocket from the past had good brush right in the middle of it. Dude, this is a good fish. Oh man, not a good two and a half. Come on. Maybe even bigger, huh? He's fat. Oh, come here. Look how fat that spawn is. Come here. Oh, look at that. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Little Havoc bottom hopper, six inch. Right in the middle of that gut. They're gonna start getting in there good. You know, this is the kind of stuff they get in in the winter and we're getting into later fall now and you can see how fat that fish is. Isn't that awesome? Shaky head saves the day and that's not the first time it's happened. There's one right there. No? Oh yeah. No? Oh. Back on. Small one. Come on. Starting to move in this stuff. This one's not nearly as fat as that last one, but it's another fish. Just barely picking it up too, man. <clears throat> Not be afraid to let them swim with it a little bit. There we go. Let them swim with it a little bit and make sure they got it before you set the hook. The worst thing you can do is actually pull it away from them. So <clears throat> definitely want to make sure that you catch them first or it's in their mouth anyway. But you can see these spots, man, how fat they are. They're starting to gorge up for the winter. I mean, they look like this almost year round, but in December and January is when they're the fattest. So, here we go. All right. Shaky Head comes to the rescue. Like I said, that's not the first time a Shaky Head has saved me on the day. And really, today is a lot like a tournament day. You know, and the fact that we tried to catch some big fish this morning and really struggled to get on anything great. You know, I haven't been fishing over here a lot, so I really don't know what's going on. Wasn't able to put it together. Um, but, you know, when all else fail, fails, pick up the shaky head, you know, slow down and start getting bit. And that's exactly what we did. We just put on a six inch uh, green pumpkin bottom hopper, Havoc bottom hopper, and a quarter ounce shaky head and, uh, you know, eight pound uh, Trilene 100% fluorocarbon as the leader line. Uh, this is eight pound Nanofill and then a seven foot medium heavy Veracity spinning rod and the new Revo MGX size 30. So. Pretty simple, just getting bit and making sure that we have a good day. Remember guys, all this gear is available at Tackle Warehouse and be sure to check back next week. I used a green pumpkin red flake and I fished it real slow, shaking the rod. Caught a lot of spotted bass. Big it. Oh, dude, I watched that fish eat it. And this head that Boss makes, when I'm moving that thing along, it rocks up onto the head.